Okay, we're gonna finish our King and Kayla and the case of found Fred. We'll read the last three chapters. So let me retell the first two chapters that we read. First, in chapter one, we're introduced to Kayla and King. They are detectives and they're at grandma's house. They find a dog, Fred, and they're going to try to help Fred find its owners. Then in chapter two, they find out that Fred is not a stray. They put up signs and they ask people if they know who's Fred, who, who's, who, <laughs> I sound like an owl, who are Fred's owners? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. They go and they ask all the neighbors in their grandma's neighborhood. We are on chapter three, Fred's clue. Remember this chapter two, we were thinking, okay, maybe I need to change my voice if they find the clue and if they figure out where Fred belongs. I'm also going to keep these two goals in mind too, these two skills. I mean, our big goal is to pay attention to what authors are doing because they're doing all of these wonderful things on purpose. We're going to notice, stop, and think what's powerful, why, and how, and we're going to think about what the author's trying to teach us too. Chapter three, Fred's clue. Nine or three days go by. <laughs> There it is again. It's from the perspective of Fred. So the author does something funny here. The author does, okay, dogs can't tell time so and don't have any sense of time. So the dog's like, well, oh, nine or three days ago. I don't know. Nine or three days go by. No one calls about Fred. We need a clue, Kayla says. A clue will help us find this dog's family. Do you have any clues? I ask Fred. No, he says. Oh, look, it even looks like they're talking. Do you have any clues? Ooh, maybe they do. This looks like he does have some clues. But sometimes you can have a clue and not even know it. Is your house by the lake or by the road? I ask Fred. Neither, says Fred. It's in a big building. There aren't any big buildings around here, I say. I know, says Fred. We live far, away, far, far away. We were on vacation. We were staying at a campground. You're staying at a campground? I say, that's a clue. Oh, wait. I was just thinking, oh, good. They found the clue. They know to look at the campground. But how are King and Fred going to tell Kayla and Kayla's grandma that? Kayla grabs a notebook and pencil. Let's make a list of everything we know about this case, she says. This dog doesn't have a collar or any tags. He can sit, lie down, and shake hands. No one on Grandma's Dirt Road knows who he is. Ooh, you're, that is a good clue that Kayla wrote down. That must mean that he doesn't live in the neighborhood. If I could write, I would add this to Kayla's list of things we know. Fred's family is staying at a campground. I wish that that King could just tell Kayla. Now, let's make a list of what we don't know about the case. Kayla says, where did this dog come from? Where is his family? How did he get here? Oh, and look, Fred's with the grandma. If I could write, I could add this to Kayla's list of things we don't know. Where's the campground? We need a plan, Kayla says. I have a plan. Find the campground. Chapter four, boat ride. Oh, I'm gonna say it in an excited voice. This sounds like something they like to do. Do you know where the campground is? I asked grandma. Can you take us to the campground? King, Kayla cries, paws on the floor. Wait a minute. Let's go back and think. Find the campground. Wait, they can't hear each other. They can't, King can't hear Kayla. And Kayla can't. Wait, what's going on? If I could write, I would add this one to Kayla's list. Where is the campground? Find the campground. 
I wonder how Kayla came up with this plan to go to the campground. Let's see if we can figure it out. Oh, you know what happened? I got confused. I thought Kayla was saying this. Did you think that too? Okay, this is King trying to talk to Grandma. Okay, let's read it again now that we stopped and we thought about it. Oh, I'm glad we didn't just keep reading. We had to stop and figure out what was going on. Okay, do you know where the campground is? I asked Grandma. Can you take us to the campground? King, Kayla cries, paws on the floor. So they can't really hear King, but that's what King's trying to be like. Take me to the campground. Take me to the campground. I whisper in Kayla's ear, campground, campground, campground. Do you need to go outside? She asks. Yes, I say. Campgrounds are outside. Our campground is by the lake, Fred says. Is that a clue? Yes, I say. But this is a big lake. How do we find a campground on a big lake? Grandma, Kayla says, look at all the people on the lake. Maybe one of them knows this little dog. Let's take a boat ride to see what we can find out, Grandma says. Oh boy, I love boat rides. They're my favorite thing. We all get on the boat. Zoom! Grandma drives us around the lake. Hello, excuse me, Kayla shouts to a fisherman. Do you know this dog? We're trying to find his family. No, sorry, the fisherman calls back. All of a sudden, Fred yells, There's our campground! He climbs on the edge of the boat and... <gasps> Splash! Fred jumps in the lake. Wait for me, I yell. Splash! I jump in the lake too. King, little dog, no! Kayla yells. Let's go find my people, Fred says. This makes sense too. This is kind of making me giggle too. Like the author <laughs> knows like how dogs act. The author must have dogs, I bet. And knows that oh, if one dog is going, the other one's going to follow them in. <laughs> and Kayla's like, no, don't do that. <gasps> We're on our last chapter. Chapter five. Where is Fred's family? I have a feeling, but this chapter title, we're going to solve this mystery. Kayla and King and Fred are going to solve this mystery. Fred and I swim until our paws touch the sand. Doggy, a small boy points. Do you see your people? I ask Fred. No, but I smell them. What do they smell like? I ask. They smell like my people, Fred says. Fred follows a scent. I follow Fred. We go up the beach, across the grass, and over to a tent. Mom, Dad, Max, I'm back. Fred paws at the tent. A boy crawls out. Fred, he cries. A man and a lady come out too. They hug and kid, kiss Fred all over. Thanks for helping me find my people, Fred says. You're welcome, I say. But now I'm afraid I've lost my people. Where are Kayla and Grandma? I hear a voice. King, where are you? King, it's Kayla. Right here, I call back. I follow Kayla's voice. Kayla and Grandma are back on the dock. I run to them. There you are, King, Kayla says. I can't believe you jumped in the lake. Sorry, I say. Sorry, I say. It looks like that little dog found his family, Grandma says. And I found you and Kayla, I say. I love Kayla and Grandma. They're my favorite thing. The end. That is the end. 
Okay, let's stop and think about if we learned anything from this book. Like, what did the author want us to learn? Could have a different meaning for you. You could have learned something different than I learned. One thing I was thinking I learned from this book is the author was trying to show us that you should help people. Like Kayla and King are these kind people who love to be detectives, but they helped out Fred. I'm sure in their other books, they're going to help out other people. You should help a friend or you should even help somebody that needs help. Maybe that's one of the things the author wants us to get out of this book. What do you think the author's trying to teach us? We'll keep reading more books and we'll think about how authors have intentions, so we will pay attention.